Right, hello everybody, welcome to the uh, next round of Blitz Pit. Uh, this is in the loser's bracket, so this is the last chance for one of these fellas. Um, we've got Zaz75 versus Cornite. Zaz with the uh, undead here. Cornite with Kislev, so he's done well to get this far with Kislev. Um, and because it's a quick snap, can't see the skills. Here we go. So he's. Um, Zaz has gone for the claw on the mummy here for Mighty Blow Claw, which is which is all right because you get like the stacking of Mighty Blow and Claw. Claw by itself is a bit rubbish, but he gets the guard claw and he's already started Mighty Blow, so that's like that's all right. It helps out definitely in the bash matchups. Um, he only has a tackle white. Right? He hasn't stacked Mighty Blow on it. Um, not really a fan of that. Would much prefer a Mighty Blow tackle stack. Um, you know for dealing with elves. And then he's got the dirty player for dealing with elves, and then just like Shoni, he's got the. Uh, Two heads, two head school, which is obviously great, isn't it? Um, Blodge, um, Kislev again. We've got a horns wrestler, which is great to have. A couple of dodge guard catches, um, wrestle strip block tackles. He's got some things. He hasn't got. Uh, he hasn't got blitzers at all here. He has got a reserve, which is dodge your hands, and then he's got. <laughs> a break tackle two heads bear. Um, now that's an awful lot of value to put on the kind of meme player. So that's going to be interesting to see if he can extract full value from that. Also very shocked that he didn't get blitzed by Claw Mighty because that seems a pretty obvious thing to do. Just stick in the Claw Mighty Blitz on this guy instantly. Um, but he didn't do that. So interesting. Hello, Harlequin Solitaire, and hello everybody else who haven't said hello to. My apologies. So he's just putting a no name Kislev guy instead. <laughs> Bear Force One, yeah. <laughs> That's true, Odon, that is true. Um, you know, he's even called him Irrelevant Revenant, and he is going to be pretty irrelevant. Um, you know, like that's the problem. It's too easy to marginalize the bear. He's unreliable and stacking skills on him. I like, I wouldn't like, you know, I didn't like Rick's stand firm tentacles bear. I would just want to keep them, you know, just give them guard. Or give them stand firm, but just give them guard, and that's it. Yeah, I don't like big guys in general. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> no regger on screen right now. That's the last reference I will make to him for this match. Very disappointed, but my name is Skirmetso, and I'm back from my poop. How we doing, Jim? <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much, Gorilla Skuro, whatever your name is. It was is. a magnificent crap. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, yeah, there's no regger. He has got an internet restraining order on Skuro, I've been told. So. <laughs> <laughs> enough <laughs> exactly Mengo. I just think it's like okay it makes him really good at dodging but so what <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that's my that's my counter to that <laughs> are we talking about the two heads bear yeah well hey you know what Kislev getting this far in the tournament you can't really, you can't really no, knock no. it till you try it, Jim. And I know you'll never try it, so you better not knock it. <laughs> All the better reason to just knock it and not try it. <laughs> I mean, the skills are limited. The skills are limited, so like. You know the argument is if you've got all your if you've got all your eggs in one basket, you might as well make it a strong basket. But it's still like it's an unreliable. It's just an unreliable player, isn't it? That's what I don't like about it. Oh god, we've again got a failure to, <laughs> to gauge properly. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! I was just about to gear that one up for you. <laughs> well, you know it's no uh, it's no bro broken dick dream, but Jim's gonna have nightmares about this one. <laughs> Yep. Well, I think he should have maybe gone one over with a uh, zombie there to, to screen just in case of a one in nine or one in eighty-one. 
claw in on the bear. That experiment's gonna be stalled for another turn. Bear stun. Ir irrelevant revenant. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I like moving him first just to complete this screen. Maybe he's gonna foul though. Um, he only has one reserve. So fouling a little bit risky. Yeah, he could've just moved him there first, right? It was, uh, there was kind of no reason to to not move him first. So the, we've got the uh, we've got the backdoor backdoor flush. I was going to say there, we've got the backdoor sack attempt if he wants to go for it. <laughs> Doesn't appear to. No. And you know, fair enough. As Kiss Love against Undead, you're you're going to get a few more chances. Uh, we'll see if he adjusts his cage. You know, maybe maybe turn two isn't the time to point out to your opponent uh, the weak points of your cage. If he's gonna do it all game. <laughs> See, <my. laughs> Very good. It's like taking a bad foul when you've been given a bribe by the by by the kickoff and reminding your opponent <laughs> yes, <laughs> that they've oh, got a bribe for God, a much I've, better foul. I've done that so many times. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a bribe. I might as well foul. Then you foul like a stunned fucking zombie. And you're like, what was I thinking? Now he knows he's got a bribe. <laughs> oh, no, we're, we're saving that. We're saving that for uh, for for another match, Steve. <laughs> oh, you gets the AV break. And nothing more. Yeah, oh I guess God, the cage doesn't sh matter too much against uh, against Kislev because they've got the two plus leap in from the guard anyway, right? So, so yeah. whether you cage oh yeah, that, that is a very good point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, whether you cage correctly or not, almost irrelevant because they can just do whatever they the fuck can, they want. <laughs> they can go the long way around, I guess, but yeah. Yeah, if they want two dice on your ball, they've got two dice on your ball, basically. Oh yeah. Uh, this tournament, uh, this game should serve as a reminder that you really need to change out of your OFL icons. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid fucking cam girl icon or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was about to say, actually, the corn one is in the game. And uh, yeah. that will show no. for his opponent. I'm pretty sure the other one isn't. Although, <laughs> the way we've seen Amazon's treated by Sinai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Games Workshop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this one this one is in the game. They, they did make common yeah, yeah, icons. Yeah. And you can make this and your opponent will see it. However, this one only appears for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I installed the, uh, what's it called? OFL icons and never bothered uninstalling them. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Some guy. Oh, there you go. It's absolutely relevant. But there is the send off. Yeah. So, you know, maybe the bear's done his job. He's made a removal. He's cast. He's cast a. Uh, he's cast a zombie. Mm-hmm. Now, and he's also got a cage contact. Uh, you know, there's all sorts of chains could happen here, or maybe not. But um, this could be bad for Zaz because this leap he could leap in with a catcher to not only give the assist to him but also the assist on the ball as well, right? So he does leap in. Here comes the fun part. One D, isn't it? Just one D for a push. Is all he needs. Yeah. Right, he goes for the 2D. So that means he's going to have to leap. Oh my god. Oh, 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 baby. No region. region doesn't get it. Oh. Let me tell you, Undead, my favorite team to play. Undead with one mummy, my least favorite team to play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's not entirely accurate, but, it, you know, against Kislev, it won't be as relevant as a, a team with more strength but that sucks yeah no reroll yeah yeah that's the thing about undead when they've got two mummies they're amazing when they've got two when they've got one mummy they're just like a really shit human team 
Oh my goodness, and Strip doing a thing yeah, in this in one. Strip, yeah, so he gets Ooh, this ball could go anywhere. It's going to land in the Kislev. No, it's not. The Thunder's going to land right in that square in all of the Kislev. <laughs> <laughs> so what he can do is here, he can have the lineman over there, right? Over there, you can't see that square. But he can have the lineman over at the right-hand side of the field. No, I can. Okay, a lineman here. Oh, okay, maybe that works. And then you can run around, leap over him, and then dodge Man. out and hand it to him. He's got the first part of that done. Can he dodge out now? Hey, where's he going? Oh. What? Why not know. go behind your screen? Yeah, I like. I like. Well, I mean, he couldn't. He couldn't reach behind, but he could have gone back and handed. Oh yeah, him. you're right. Yeah. He could have handed off to him. Yeah. I, I like. I like going back and handing off. Or personally, I liked him being one square back and passing to him. I mean, this is just a 3-plus for a 2-D tackle now, isn't it? I think that's what you have to do. Maybe, maybe you don't. Can you chain him free here? Uh, yeah, you could. He could. If you, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it... Well, he doesn't go for either of those. But he gets the POW, so it's all is forgiven. No, he... Ball... No, he couldn't have chained him out completely. No, he gets the yeah, pump. yeah, he could, he could get one chain, but he still would have been in contact. Yeah, I didn't realize he'd stood up this, uh, this yeah. zombie. If the zombie could have hit, then yep. he could have done. Yeah. But you know, this is the problem. Well, he's right? putting a lot. Even if he gets back on top of it now. It's it's bad, isn't it? Like you know, like even if he gets the ball, even if he recovers the ball, he can still just get stripped again, can't he? And stuff. So like, yeah. Yeah. he didn't really have to yeah, get the absolutely. ball safe because he's just done with the cosh now for the rest of the half. Yeah. But uh, avoids the one and nine, which would have been a disaster. Yeah. But what can he really do to protect this ball anymore? Not a lot. Eye cage is often your best best chance in these yeah. situations. Yeah. But again, there's the guard. The guard from the Kislev can kind of get where they need to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, like a guard eye cage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's your best bet. But even that, like you know, it's it, it's it's hard now, isn't it? Now it's really. Yeah. But he's got it on a blodger. He does, no. but there's a block tackle here no. and a wrestle strip yeah, and here. A stripper. <laughs> yeah. But he's got it on a blodger, Jim. Sometimes you just gotta trust in blotch. <laughs> and now he could do some kind of chain action. Mm -hmm. Will he? I mean, the thing is, he doesn't have to control two plus kind no, of. Yeah. yeah, exactly. God, the, the leap, the leap garters, pretty nice. Yeah, they are. Yeah, to be fair, that is really nice. Block away this. Uh... Oh, he doesn't need to block anyone away. Actually, there's no guard on him. Yeah, just leap right in with the wrestle strip again. Yeah, I guess just some like safe moves first, just for the sake of it. Yeah, of course, of course. And then swarm, swarm a little bit. You can get these two shitty linos can run around and do something. Yeah, this Zaz going to be in something. all sorts of trouble. <laughs> Again, even if the ball doesn't go down, he's not in a good spot. Oh, but he fizzed oh, the hate, leap. I hate doing this first, to be honest. Yeah, makes it, though. Will he... And he, he's got the strip in again. Yeah, and just know, a single tackle zone. These guys could have been here and here already, you know. Yeah. Like, and they're gonna be they're gonna be nearly there anyway. <laughs> yeah. But if they'd been here and here first, then I just think that's better. Well, he can just go for the edge four pickup in a tackle zone now. Yep. Leap there. Leap. Oh, he doesn't oh. leap. That was against tackle. Yeah, leap was definitely better. Yeah. Leap was just one hundred percent the right play there. Fails the pickup, but again he's completely swarmed him, and now it's yeah. really bad, really bad for Zaz. Ooh, nice, nice KO though on one of the guarders. That might help him a little bit here. 
helps him a lot. But he's got, <laughs> yeah, he's got a long way to climb to get anything. Like, he's only got a turn before he's probably got to stop thinking about scoring. I think he should already stop thinking about scoring now. Yeah, probably, I think, huh? I think as soon as the ball, like, it was in such a horrible position and he's down the money, I think, you know, the first thing is just get out of this at nil-nil. Because <laughs> he can still go on the off, you know, he's still got goals. He can go on the offense if it turns around. But he's just got to stabilize first. 100%. Yeah. And both of the removals are KOs on the Kislev side, so they could easily be back in this one in the second half. And if you're not up numbers as undead and you're down a mummy against a team like Kislev, you're not going to be happy. <laughs> yeah, double chain, shouldn't they? Yeah, the double chain was nice, wasn't it? But, you know, um, it's hard, isn't it? in this time frame, I guess that's the thing. Not everyone's a Chunterino. <laughs> so he 2D, 2D the catcher, because obviously removing him is incredible. Gets the bow, could he get the other garter off? No. And then blitz this guy and look over. He's gotta get the pow though. He does. Which he does. And like it, and oh, there you ball. go. Oh, there's a removal. Does he apple? No, it's a four plus. Um, so, yeah, you know, he's down three players now. Yeah. Can he get the ball to some relative idea of safety? He's got one second left. I think he's going to just keep it there. <laughs> maybe, maybe not the worst pot spot for it, to be honest, given his options. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no good options, is there? <laughs> no, no, certainly not. Needs a little bit of dice here. Don't really like that. I think if you're going to move him in there, it would be better to hit with him and free up the, the horns, dude. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just get the guard in here, can't he? And then 2D and then leap. Them. And smack again, like you know, it's so well. There you go. He, he gets the, he gets the cars. Now it's looking real bad, isn't it? That sticks as well. Yeah, not another regen fail. That's nine players max now, and now I bet, I bet Zaz is really regretting this dirty player foul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's the pal. Oh, he didn't dodge. He didn't dodge the guard. Yeah, he, oh my god! Yeah, he used his garter. Oh well, no. He doesn't need to though. Well, yeah, he actually yeah, he does. Yeah, he did. Though. He had to. It was a two plus with a reroll. How do you not just get the guard in? <laughs> yeah, a one and nine here could give Zaz a chance to score. Yeah, this is this is a disaster for Colin. Oh, he's oh he's gonna yeah he's gonna do it. He saves the reroll. He's got so few players left now, Zaz, but yeah. he's got the chance of this break now, hasn't he? Like that's the best thing he's Absolutely. got is just speed running away from the uh, Kislev. Yeah, I guess you wrestle him down. Yeah. yeah. Kinda kinda unfortunate though. He's not gonna have oh that's a nice spot for that guard though. It is, but I think you maybe just had to do the dodge. I think you maybe had to do the yeah. dodge because yeah. Oh, well, you get some movement. Because he's going to be pretty unsupported now, isn't he? Whereas if he just dodged through. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> get off my. He can dodge this tackle, right? Yes. He's going to do the hand. <laughs> oh yeah, he's going to hand it off to him, and yeah, he's, he's going to get away from away. pretty much everyone on the potato. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 all right, isn't it? Even if he loses the ball here, there's probably not going to be any sort of recovery from the Kislev. Yeah. Yeah, the edge four is miles away, so that's nice. Yeah. One more makes him safe, but he puts yeah. him on the sideline. Oh, I think he doesn't take it. Um, interesting. I can see why you wouldn't, but I think I think one more saves him. Yeah, and he's he's got three re rolls. Like I think he had to do one. Yeah. Oh my god, another like, removal. This, is, feel, this really is feel a dumb if, Yeah. Wouldn't you feel dumb if you didn't take that GFI and then you lost that ghoul? Yeah. Like, it's hard, isn't it, right? It's a three yeah, plus, of course it is. two of course two it is. pluses, and then a 1D pal. But yeah. it's better than nothing. 
Yep. But he's still, the still got two turns. He's still got two turns, right? So he's still got a stall at a turn, actually. So yeah. maybe. Maybe tempting him to do that is better than not. Because he's, he's really like, you can't afford to give Skate and sk Slam Kislev. You can't afford to give Kislev a two turn chance, can you? So. Yeah, certainly not. Running him away isn't that good. Yeah, 20% with a reroll, so it's actually a pretty decent chance of, of getting it popping, isn't it? 20%. But, um. Wow, Regor taking it to Shawnee right now. 1 1 at the half. Regor on offense uh, in the second half. Yeah. Although that is that is Kemri on offense. It's a big difference than Kemri on defense. Hmm. It is quite a good racial matchup, though, isn't it? For, uh, for kids. For yeah. Kemri. God, I can't speak. Yeah. They do. They have four mummies. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, under only have two. Cordonite not taking that bait on the blitz on the ball. Um, yeah. Maybe going to get a two turn shot here. I think you got to give it to him given the state of the board right now. Yeah. But then you give him. No, he, get, he gets the chances to get the. Uh, yeah, he's going to get those way. either way. Yeah. The only way he doesn't is if you don't score and you'd still rather score, I think. Yes, yes, always score. Maybe a couple more KOs and you're thinking about it, but I hate, I honestly, I hate that. I hate putting the hands in the, uh, yeah. putting the game in the hands of the KO rolls. I mean, different in leagues and stuff and like against Clawpom yeah. where, you know, you, you're saving your team by not scoring, like not giving up that LOS hit of Clawpom hits. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah. The, then not scoring becomes a lot more... Uh, a lot more of an idea, but for this kind of format, you don't give a shit about the LOS box. Well, it's going to be a 1 and 9, though. Oh, no, yeah. it's not. He's got two heads. Yeah, yeah, but he's going to have to score, though. Oh, yeah, he's going to have to score, isn't he? He can't really run back into this not cage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to score. It's got to be. <laughs> And he rolls Zaz. And he's done. Gets a tuddy. Well, Corn Knight. Corn Knight had a hell of a half, though. And he's going to get a two turn for uh, attempt for his reward. Let's we'll see how this plays out. Yeah, it was still a great Let me half. Fill my water for, it was still a great half for Corn Knight, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> you know, although, although he ended up considering the score, it's down to nine men for the rest of the match, Zaz. He's down a mummy for the rest of the match. So. And uh, it's actually nine versus nine. Cornite's still got nine, so and he might be on ten. Not actually about numbering him in the second half. <laughs> Hello, Lane Gary. Um, Rego has an internet restraining order on uh, on Sean. No, <laughs> that's not true. Um, the, you know the games are getting shared around. It's quite good, I think, because people will get to see different teams and different coaches and stuff, won't they? So that's pretty good. In my heart, I am Lane Gary. <laughs> and and other places oh, yes. south of my mouth. Yep. Yep. We we got it. <laughs> <laughs> the south of the mouth, like the mouth of the south. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this setup. Hmm. I would almost say it deserves a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just gives him the midfield cage. Yeah, that seems terrible. And uh, not enough play. I mean, I guess you. I mean, I guess you can technically elf call him with six players, but not against Kislev. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I hate this. He's giving him the cage. Yeah. Uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Like at least if you had a line across here. Then, yeah. if they wanted to go six, they'd be basing you. But they can just go six forward. They can just move everybody six forward. First of all, yeah. and then, and like that's hard to cover. And then you can get the the catches in behind, screened everything. Well, that's a, I think it's a horrible defense from Zaz. I uh, am going to uh, lean lean in the side of agreement with you without being so harsh. <laughs> <laughs> It's he is, he is down a lot of players is undead, which is always frustrating. You know, you don't have two mummies to put in the middle. Yeah. 
but also it's absolutely bloody terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, it's Blood Bowl with one minute turns and also funky team builds like we have horns on this Kislev lineman. We have two heads on this bear and two heads on this ghoul and claw on the mummy. So there you go. And in a surprise to literally no one, getting right up there. Cage. Will we get the perfect cage? I, That's you know, he only has one guard. That's yeah, I thought that would be his ball carrier. Oh, God, he's just hanging them out there to dry. Oh, dear. I do not like that. I would have one caged up. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. Okay, he'd have to GFI next turn, but who gives a shit? Oh, maybe he is now. Maybe he's oh, okay. changed his yeah, mind. He's going for the double GFI, but go for the pickup the first before that. Yeah. Go for the pickup before that. Oh, oh my go. goodness! So my word. GFIs. Hit to do the GFIs. Well, now yeah, obviously sure. it looks no, brilliant. Do you pass this turn so that you've got the uh, reroll to score next turn? I don't think you want the ball on the ground near those ghouls. <laughs> Oh, nor okay, nor the ball on the ground anywhere. <laughs> now he now he doesn't, right? Yeah. Now he just does the handoff next turn. Yeah. Oh wow, this is this is like how I didn't yeah, think this was a oh, wow. Oh he's crazy. doing it! Takes the pass, diving catch does not help him out. That's crazy. I don't know how you can go for the pass without a reroll. Like I I, I quite yeah. like go for the second GFI. And then if you fail it, don't do the pass. And then, you know, because then you've got both options, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, and now Zaz has a chance to scatter this ball. Yeah. This is probably his best chance because of that central uh, guard uh, edge four there as the as in, you know, as an option to score with still. Can't yeah. really block everyone off with six players. Doesn't scatter it. Oh, he's not going to scatter. Yeah, I think I would have scattered that. I guess he just goes for the, the four plus pickup. Mm. I don't think this is going to be enough. No, because three of the scouts were amazing, weren't they? Three uh, he he has two amazing. heads, though. Yeah, doesn't mean, help with the pickup. He doesn't even need to dodge in, yeah. Oh, that's a kind of a nice scatter for him. <laughs> kind of, yeah. I didn't mm. Imagine if he just kept the ball. <laughs> yeah. And then he could have yeah, he, he just, could have handed off to him. Have enough players. Him. Yeah, he didn't have enough players to stop everyone that was up in scoring range. I, yeah. I, 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 I think really... it was crazy crazy handing it off, or even passing it doing either, just GFI and then you could just run up. And like, you know, he's got the two scoring threats, he can't cover them both. Yeah. He just can't. I guess does he scatter it? I think he has yeah. to, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's got a better option. Where's this ball going? Edge four in the city. Oh, uh -huh. that's gonna. Oh no, it's not over yet. It's no, not he's over got the other yet. catcher. And technically, that uh, that uh, wrestle strip can score. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, the catcher's just better though, isn't the he? He's got, he's got the same. No, catch. the catcher's better, but the catcher might need to retrieve at this point. All oh, right. Yeah. 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 The catcher's got Let's a better catch, in fact, hasn't he? He's getting a surf out of this, though. Oh, yeah. Hopefully not his own player. I hate moving this guy, though, because <laughs> if the ball comes in this way... Oh, but he doesn't get the ball. Yeah. He's going to have to deal with just the surf. Yeah. Oh, he gets the cast. Oh, well, Does it reach him? That was, a, that was a ghoul, too. Or, sorry, excuse me, a white. White. Yep, failed again. Again. Oh, dear. <laughs> Three well, has three failed regions. Consolation prize for Corn Knight is that he is out bashing undead, and he's getting premium players for it. He gets that out bear back. Heavily out bashing him. Yeah. I like not making the dodge there. He could have dodged with that guard. I couldn't need to get another two. Bear three, came but... back. Oh wow. Now he's hammering him. Then it's like ten versus eight. Yeah. You're... 
really, really scary stuff. And again, losing losing a mummy as undead feels like losing three players. Yeah, it's horrendous. It's like they're so bad. They're just like a shit human team, life. like a really bad, a really bad human team with without without the second mummy. But um, yeah, I hated Zaz's defense there, but um, yeah. It worked. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it did. It did work out. Again, cost, cost them a white. All things, uh, all things being equal, but it did work out. Yeah, and now you know if there's a if there's a double one in the pickup, or you know something crazy happens, there's a chance. <laughs> there's a chance for Zaz, but it's looking grim, isn't it? With only eight players. Yeah. That is not what you need when you're like the bashy team to be out bashed. It's just <laughs> yeah, feels real bad. And it just snowballs from here too. You know, you're you're almost out guarded at this point too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, you're just not going to get any blocks in, even against the fucking team like Kislev. <laughs> yeah, it feels bad, doesn't it? <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> But I mean, you know, he's got he's got four blodgers. Okay, they're agility three, blodge and rodge. Um, so you know, he's got four he's got four playmakers on the field still. So he's still got a chance. But he, he won't be feeling happy about his chances, I'm sure. Yeah, he's got a. His priority here is basically just got to stop the ghoul, the flood of ghouls, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally the only thing he has to do is, is just play really yeah. safe. Make it over yep. time. Quick. Pretty slow, isn't he, Cole Knight? <laughs> well, as slow as you can be with one minute turns, I guess. Yeah, it's a lot of time just to just to yeah. make some two DBs. I actually I was gonna comment at the start of his turn. He took this like ten or twelve second pause, and it was like, "This is like you got to know your opening moves." I think with your setup, it's interesting. Not you know you know sitting in the commentator booth, it's easy to call someone out for something like that. <laughs> Yeah. But it's like usually on your first turn on the kickoff, you know exactly what you're doing in response. I don't understand. He's got that. A oh, he hasn't got guard on his. Uh, he hasn't got guard on his bear, of course. Yeah. I just thought he had guard. I was like, oh well, here we go. Two D with block, and I thought, why is he taking so long? <laughs> but of course, he doesn't have guard on his bear <laughs> because it's a meme lord bear with break tackle and two heads. <laughs> <laughs> That bear is destined for greatness. Yep. It does lemon, yeah. Yeah, I'm very, very used to this kind of look. <laughs> well, not not this side of it. The the other view. The other view is what I'm accustomed to. With my bash team getting brutally outbashed down to one <laughs> by a bloody kid. Little, like uh, little, up, little update from our other game. Uh, Regor, of course, Kemri on offense. In the ray and the ball not in hand on turn eleven for him. Oh boy. <laughs> or oh, sorry, now turn twelve. <laughs> oh <laughs> he just boy. failed another pickup. And then his claw mighty gets gets the old gym pals. <laughs> so the claw mighty blitz hope not paying off yet. I just think he got super safe here as corner. Yeah. Bang it in, turn 16. I agree. Zaz, Zaz uh, by his own admission, diced me out of the qualifiers, but my heart's going out to him right now as, a, as, a, as an undead player myself. And watching, <laughs> watching you have to limp through a, a game against Kislev. You think, you know, you know you're going to have to deal with the leaps and the bullshit on the ball, but then you're also getting out bashed. Like, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Is he going for bear or horse? I think so. 
Uh, both. Because he can. Yeah, uh, can oh no, there's a, no, there's a ghoul back there. Oh, he still can, yeah. He's got horns. Yeah, so both, both is the answer. Yeah. I like that because he's got a double GFI to hit. No, no, don't follow. Is he going to leap? Uh, yeah, yeah. He must be going to leap. Maybe. No, he's not going to leap. Oh, he's going to. Oh, unseen! My, <laughs> I saw that clip. Holy crap, man! Holy crap! Getting passed on by uh, Tomb Guardians. Not, Oof. not what you want in a knock in a knockout game. Yeah, and in an unfavorable matchup for you as well. You know, like that's the thing, isn't it? Like uh, Kislev pretty ma ma match up very well versus dwarves, really. And then, uh, yeah. so, no, <laughs> you know, when you when you get. The unfavorable matchup, and then he does a six plus pass. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like that uh, that bull that six plus passed you out of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yep. It was pretty funny. I couldn't even feel bad. It was great. The, the guy even even like apologized for how lucky he was being, which is a v massive rarity. <laughs> I get that. I get that more than most. <laughs> but yeah, very. He was a lovely chap. So. Oh uh, yeah, I don't. I didn't know anything that set it up. I just saw how that half ended. <laughs> yeah. But hey, it was a hell of a run on scene. I was rooting for you. It's just you know, it's re It's Regor. What are you gonna do? He's just beautiful. He's a beautiful man, and he won the beautiful game that time. Not a removal, but a stun. It almost feels like there's nothing Zaz can do here, is there? It must be a... Must be a bad feeling. I really don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Few can, Unseen. Few can. <laughs> and it's like, now it's like, you don't even want to claw the bear. Like, getting the bear out seems <laughs> pointless. Yeah. <laughs> The bear going stupid is one of the best things that can happen for you. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> it looks like he's gonna do it. Well, you know, failing a failing a one in nine, and then he can't loan it. Right. Um... There it comes Claw Mighty on the bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This really is a gym this game now. Yeah, the mummy not going off the pitch, though. A really, can anyone say Zaz isn't dicing Corn Knight because of that? <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. Everyone can say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, he goes for that blitz. Yeah, I think I think it'd be hitting a uh, a ghoul right about now. Yeah. Huh? Well, shows what I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he got the full power, so he would have he would have removed oh, the ghoul. Geez. Um, Ragor just, oh yeah, he is annihilating. Sean A. The soft pitch clear, they're all KOs. But it doesn't really matter because it's a 1 1 game. <laughs> <laughs> Does he go for the big? It looks like he's going to do the old, the classic foul here. Classic ball carry. Oh, he doesn't even have to be adjacent to the ball carrier. Le ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. I like that because although obviously you give up the bear to get hit by Claw Mighty, it means that you're, uh, you know, you're really safe, aren't you? The ball, the ball is really safe and far forward. I mean, the bear. The bear is effectively removing a quarter of uh, a quarter of Zaz's team if he's standing there getting hit every turn. I don't think Coordinate's going to care too much. No, yeah, I think that's. I think that's a very nice shout. Sorry, a third, a third of his team. Yeah, yeah. Like the temptation would be though, like three D that white, wouldn't it? And then blitz the goo, and, yeah. you know, and then you've got them all down and under control. But it's quite good leaving them not under control. 
because okay, then we could have GFI'd smashed down your uh, bear there, but then that uses up his blitz. I mean, I still would have done. I wouldn't have felt good about it, but I still GFI blitzed with a the mummy there. What is happening here? I don't know, he's just gonna punch somebody. Yeah, but he's basing up all his ghouls to do so. Yeah, but he's gonna, uh, he's gonna uh, free them uh, up yeah. now. Without pow. Okay, not if he does that. <laughs> um, I don't, I just don't understand what the second or what that that block ghoul was no. achieving. No, I don't. Oh, you, you, you. Um. Yeah, mutated regular teams. Yeah. There you go. Let's pit. There's uh, the rules were each team there. The there's CCL admins are involved that were able to uh, give. Regular players' uh, mutations. Obviously, not visually represented on the models. <laughs> but very cool. Gets away with it. On your push. Oh, all pushes all day for Corn Knight this turn. All pushes all day this turn. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it should be safe for him, right? It should be safe for him. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say we could play another Hey Jim, how's your cage? <laughs> but I don't think it really matters right now. <laughs> no, I didn't qualify to be there. I didn't qualify, so. Had I qualified, I would have taken Undead or Woody's and would have taken a Horns Dancer or, um, you know, what, I don't know what the second one would have been. There would have been options, wouldn't there? And then, a, you know, I don't know what I would have taken for the Undead, to be honest. Like, Horns are a pretty good shout, aren't they? Horns and two heads are like... Generally a good shell, but then Claw gives you a nice, a nice thing against bash teams. Yeah, Regor victorious! Hoo -hoo. Unbelievable! Back-to-back -back losses for Sean. He dumps him out of the tournament. Yeah, yeah, That's rough a and a tournament. rough loss against Dio, and then sounds like he just got stomped in by uh, by Bash there against the Camry. The bear has not dodged once yet. <laughs> no, not once! <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't needed to, to be fair. He slept, uh, slept on the sideline the whole first half. And uh, <laughs> there wasn't much of an undead team left for the second half. A force de traîner dans les cimetières, on se forme un physique d'athlète. So Zaz is giving it his all here, trying to get in the way. Oh! <laughs> and the bear won't be dodging. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. I thought for sure that was the mummy when I saw the cross come up. <laughs> yeah. And that might be relevant for overtime, right? Might be, like, overtime yeah. is the best con I can hope for here, it's, and it's not guaranteed. He hasn't scored yet. Yeah. Through now, how many squares has he got left with him? Oh, he's got enough, so he can get he can get a full cage through. Sure can. And go around. So it's looking almost certain, but I mean, it's it's not certain yet, is it? <laughs> um, um, amazingly, after after everything Zaz has been through with the removals, he does have currently. All four of his ghouls for overtime, which can be a difference maker, but man, are Kislev going to make it hard? Yeah. I think he went too far here with the ball. I don't think he's going to mm, Maybe. He's going to eye cage it. Yep. Eye cage with guard. He didn't need a GFI to get there, but I don't know. I just think one for one in would, was better, right? It's like that's a 1D potentially. 
Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of dice, but I think, I mean, honestly, I think Zaz kind of kind of has to take it, right? Yeah, almost. He's got the two heads. He's got the two heads dodge in to hit the ball. It's going to take a little bit to get that white around to get guard on it to make it a 1D. Uh, three plus, make it a 2D. Three plus double GFI? A straight huh? two oh, right, right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. You get three plus double GFI to make it a 2D. Doesn't look like he's going to. Yeah. He's got block after all. It's it's not terrible odds, is it? It's like a five plus. Yeah. That that I mean that could be a desperation save. Maybe I would have moved those ghouls first. Oh, he's got the power now. You want to be able to react? He's got. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Will he get a generous scatter? Not really. Two edge four right over there, and those ghouls are stretched, but can get over, just barely. Wow. Saz might have gutted out the win here, despite being heavily outmatched. <laughs> that would be incredible. Well, it? yeah, we'll see what see what he does here. I think I'd want to try and put that ball in my hands. I would as well. I definitely go for the Is he's got it? No, he doesn't get the pickup. Re you gotta re-roll it. You got gotta re-roll it. This is the game, in my opinion. Oh, that's the game. Oh, he doesn't. Glorious. We'll see Thank you very if he's rewarded for that patience, but I think I would have gone for it there. I think that's your best chance at winning this game at this point. Yep. Thank you very much, Blitzpit, for the glorious raid. And uh, welcome to, yeah, the end of this. It looks like we could. Looks like we're getting overtime, but maybe not. Um, yeah, Corn Knight, Corn Knight's killer Kislev team here, <laughs> absolutely shredding the undead. But the undead in with a shot, a shot to stop him from forcing overtime. Not much of one now. I wonder if 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 Cornet would just score on turn fifteen. It worked mm. for Zaz in the first half. Yeah, maybe, maybe. He can gonna, make that ball pretty safe. He's going to struggle to protect though from the two heads, isn't he? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, two heads. Strength two ball carrier is a bit of a weakness. And it's asking a lot to try and keep track of mutation skills oh, in one minute that turn. Block. Oh, man. Oh! Oh! oh, he made the irrelevant block. And he, he got really oh. unlucky as well with it. Yeah, he sure did. Wow. There is a shot here now. Thanks to the, the 1 in 81 there. Yeah, that was brutally unlucky. Wow. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like the one Johnny, in nine years of reroll, really, for like kind of no reason. Yeah. I think you know you'd much rather use your reroll on the pickle. So he's made his blitz already. Yeah, he I was hoping. Not like that I think push direction because that's away from tackle. Uh, the there was no push direction. It was a block. Direction. Yeah, blitz direction. Yeah, oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I guess it got him out of tackle doing it that way, which was good. Yeah. Oh, baby, he's rolling all the dice right now. Isn't he? Oh, nice chain here. Does it do anything? No. Not really. <laughs> Doesn't... Oh, uh, yeah, no, because he did knock him down, right? <laughs> yeah. But... He's through. Ball yeah. in hand, he's free. Corn Knight in some Oof. trouble here. Doesn't go for the guard eye cage. I quite like the no. guard eye cage. And he, he, yeah, he set too. it up. He set it up and then didn't yeah. go inside it. Oh, I'm boy. in fairness, the guard. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. I don't think put on Is he thinking about putting it? Screen. He's thinking about something here. No, no don't put it. Okay, screen. good. He's not. Yeah. Uh, I. I. I don't like punting it. <laughs> no, I, hate, I hate punting in general. And I know you do. <laughs> I can sometimes justify it in my head, but. I don't know. <laughs> so the question is: Does he what what well, what does he do in general? He could go for uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he could go for GFI yeah. hit with block tackle, or he could do wrestle the, uh, strip. Dodge wrestle strip. Yep. Wrestle strip and then hope for a really good scatter. There's plenty of players to score with if you can get it over to them. Yeah, that's a good point, isn't it? The, the point is, though, he's only got 
He's only got this turn to score, so yeah, he's probably yep. got to go for the yep. wrestle. Here it is. Here it comes. Game Gets on the, the line. He's Gets got the strip. strip. Can you follow? follow? Because then the, you, you're yep. probably not going to catch a scatter. Yeah, fair enough. And it would keep Oh, you, yeah, uh, I guess you can yeah, because the tackle's on. Yeah, you, so you'd only catch on a six, and then you, if you scattered away, it'd be good for you, probably, wouldn't it? One, two, three, four. He's going to need an edge for miracle five, here. Five. Nah, it's not that much of a miracle. No, no, no fair <laughs> enough. But it's not a sure thing. Two plus leap. Oh, it's a four plus dodge, isn't it? Yeah. And a four plus pickup. Okay, so yeah, I was thinking it was a three plus, but it's not. Makes the leap. Oh my god, he's got the Makes the, ball. the dodge. Makes the pickup. Makes the dodge. And we're just down. Oh, baby. What a way to force overtime if he can get it. The pass is in. The catch is good. Oh, my word. What a comeback by, by Corn Knight. The Kiss Lev are dancing. So is Corn Knight. And, uh, oh, man, Zaz has just got to feel horrible right now. He's been through the ringer all game. He saw the daylight. And then Corn Knight and the Kiss Lev just snatched it away. This game's going to overtime pending the uh, the turn 16 kickoff here. Oh, man. I'm, I can't believe he didn't put it in that eye cage. He had the eye cage there. <laughs> yeah, the eye cage was there. A hashtag should have punted. I still don't know about that, Corn Knight. <laughs> I don't know. The punt could have been okay, yeah. Did it, if it's still the reroll yeah. available. Maybe the punt yeah. is good because there was only really that uh, edge four play that could have done it. And if he'd done like a long bomb, it was it was game over, wasn't it? Uh, so yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, hindsight. Hindsight says he should have punted. That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think the ball say the you know at the end of the day is edge fours that gets it away from the edge fours, doesn't it? Um, especially yeah. if it works. Like obviously yep. dropping the ball is terrible. So like that's the risk, isn't it? Like that's the risk you make if you fumble it. It's really terrible. I don't think there's a one turn here. He hasn't got the players at all, has he? No. Eight men. No, he's hoping for a riot here. And ten for corner. This is just the quintessential how undead can lose a game. <laughs> Lose your mummy early and just get worked over by a non-kill team. But he's got enough players to score. I mean, it's Kislev, so who knows? But like, if he can win that toss, he's in with a shot. If he loses yeah, the toss, sure. I think that's pretty much GG. Yeah. The bear. The bear did not get the dodge with his break tackle two heads. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Bear, bear KO'd the first half and removed midway through the second one. <laughs> yep. Hello, Goliath. The match is serious, but tout peut encore se passer. Well, Zaz foul. Not, not with eight men, no. <laughs> no. no. And I, here we go. The I coin like flip, all foul. important. Yeah, I didn't like his first foul. Uh, Shawnee went with only three ghouls and 13 players. Zaz only went with 12, and it's it's kind of paying the price now, isn't it? Yeah. His love, massive favors, uh, favorites going into OT, and who wins the toss? Oh, the Kislev do. Oh boy. Well, from a spectacle point, not much has bounced. <laughs> yeah. Not much has bounced in the favor of Zaz in this one. No, from a spectacle point of view, that's not very good, is it? Because you'd expect them to score, but then you'd have expected them to have scored easily in the first half, and there was some, there was some, yeah. you know, magic from uh, from Zaz. So you know, maybe he's, I don't know why he's going. Does he think he's receiving? <laughs> What's this? Uh, I think he. I think he did for a second. What's going on here? 
What are we? What are we doing, Zaz? You got. <laughs> This, oh, this dear. T-Rex can, can save him the game. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh <laughs> well, dear. He tried He tried the really deep setup last time and didn't work out, so now he's gone for <laughs> all men's LOS. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, does he think he's defending? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> it re this really looks like the other people have got are getting the ball, doesn't it? Yeah. No. I mean, I I can see what Coordinate's doing though. I mean, the only thing that really loses him the game is the blitz, and he's just playing yeah. it safe there. Yeah, of but, course, of course. But it's still yeah. funny. It looks like he he's in a defensive setup and he's in an offensive setup. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I guess from Zaz's point of view, he could he's he's denied any blocks. Yeah. Effectively, except for you know, except for this, this the uh, horns blitz, but he's gonna get a second one. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Got guard. Yeah, but exposing his uh, catcher to a hit. <laughs> Sorry, Goliath. Yeah, I'm spoken for. We've got a uh, we've got a semifinal. I don't even know if we're calling it, but we've got Regger in the semifinals. Auga. <laughs> oh, just just exposing that uh, that catcher there instantly. So, I mean, there's a chance here for uh, Zaz to just bang out both catchers. Oh, may maybe try. Does it do that? I guess I've never noticed that before. Yeah, that was out on turn 11. I was waiting for someone to call me out on that rat and blood. Oh, thank you, Trevor. <laughs> 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 he that promise about 50 times. Kept it relatively clean. Yep. Yeah, so I mean, he just gets to he just gets to hit this catcher, doesn't he? Into an extra block. And then uh, hit the other catcher as well. That's looking quite nice, really. I would have blitzed with him. I don't like not blitzing with him. I mean, you've got block into it, and then you're pushing him into another block. Another block player. This way. I mean, he can still do it, but he's got to block with him first. Mm, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. This is... uh. I don't know how I mean, I guess it's. Him. How do you not hit this catcher? He's gonna. Why well, he's gonna double GFI three dice him or, or what? Like I don't know how you can do hit him. You've got to dodge hit him. out with the two heads. Oh, no. He's dodging out with the two heads. Oh whoa! He's whoa, going for the ball. Oh, he's going. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, joke's on us, I guess. Doesn't get it though. He does get he it. Roll in and he gets him. <laughs> but the ball could not really scatter any better for Corn Knight. <laughs> What the hell? All his eggs in the basket. What a maneuver! He's got one ghoul to respond with now. No, it doesn't oh. doesn't work this time. <laughs> he did the five plus though. Yeah. That was a rowdy ball sack. I mean, yeah, he pulled that one out of his back pocket there. <laughs> I still kind of hate it because it's so easy to two dice him back <laughs> and give it to this guy and score. But hey, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, guy, think, I don't actually hate the effort, but I just didn't see it coming. It didn't, it didn't look like he was setting up for it, you know, Dio. Yeah, it's like, no, I mean, yeah. yeah, nothing's bad this far behind, is it? Yeah. It's about right, truly notorious. <laughs> it was a rowdy ball, sir. I don't know what. 
Conite's plan is now he had like a formation. He's just gonna uh yeah, he's just gonna go for this. I mean, hand it off and win. Pass it. Yeah. Oh. Pass it. Catch yeah. it. Double GFI win. This could go poorly for him. It could. We've seen double ones end matches before. <laughs> yeah. Does he even need to do this this turn? No, but I don't not. think he thinks he does. It would have been pretty easy 2 plus 2 plus and then the 2 GFIs. Yeah. But I guess no, no pass or catch is there, so it wouldn't be that yeah. easy for 2 pluses. I guess he could have tried the first one and then if it worked, he could have, like, you know, moved him into a sideline cage. You know, if he had to use a reel yeah. on that, he could have then moved him into a sideline cage. To here. All right. So it'd be safe. I mean, Zaz now has to try something equally crazy yeah. <laughs> to compete with last turn. There's no other option here. It's not even that crazy now, is it? You can just push, push this uh, guy and then uh, dodge in. Gets the knockdown on him too. Yeah. So is is the two heads better than going that way? Don't know. I don't think he thinks so. Oh no, he's not going to do it. He's going to lay the pressure on instead. Yeah, he's not in scoring range, is he? So. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it, this is super hard for Zaz. Like, you know, at the end of the day, Kornai can just two plus leap whenever he wants, can't he? And, like, it's. Of course. <laughs> there's nothing you can really do, so. Yeah. He didn't have to try and score that turn at all. I just thought he kind of would. Just because, like, you know, like, the kind of situation, yeah, isn't it? You know, playing all that big boy yeah. yesterday, playing two hours today. You just kind of want to get it over with. <laughs> I think a lot of. <laughs> there's, a big, there's a big element of that. Times. Again, playing playing nearly nearly one and a half games of Blood Bowl with one mummy will make you want to end the game pretty quick. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's got an easy an easy two D there. You can go for the, this hit and then that hit to free up the horns. It's a bit scary, obviously, yep. without block. But I like it. Doesn't free the horns up. Oof. I like freeing the horns up. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Sean. Yeah, just knocking them down is brutal. But obviously, removing them is horrendous. Oh, wow, he just dodges. Oh, kicks us. So, what does he do? He could just go one forward, right? And then it's like a safe side. Oh, He's okay. Going He's going to. On the screen here. I guess you've got to dodge with this guy. Yeah, yep. he makes it. He makes it. He could have leapt for style points. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, two heads will be in range, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So what's that? Three. No. Yeah, that's three four, isn't it? He's edge. He's edge four. Three four. Or he could come around the other way and go 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I was looking at the back way. Can he avoid? He can't avoid the guard, though. I don't think. But then he can't Maybe he can. if he goes around there. Yeah, yeah. No, he can. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, he can't. So he's got to come through here. Yeah. So maybe he just goes with this guy and goes 4-3. Four, four, That's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. And pretty much everything here is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, red's in. Does that open up the path? No. No. 
<laughs> no, I don't understand. Okay. Oh, maybe it does. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It does nothing. Yeah, there's no way to avoid that garter. And hit the ball. But he does it. Yep. And gets a skull, re-roll in, gets a push. The old vanity red dice. <laughs> wow. This well, is looking like corn ice. It's a games. two plus away. <laughs> yeah. It's not even a two plus, is it? You can just 2D and then 2D. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess the question is can you just 2D with block each time? He doesn't spend too much time thinking about it. And goes for the. He also didn't 2D with block, yeah. Yeah, there might have been this a way one of will doing be it. though. Yeah, there might have been a way of doing it with uh, just blocking with block, but I'm not sure. It was certainly easier to just do that, do it that way. <laughs> All right, he's looking, uh, <laughs> looking for <laughs> Gets it. a miracle, doesn't get it, and that is gonna do it, folks. Corn Knight and the Kislev, led by their two heads bear. <laughs> <laughs> are advancing in the loser's bracket chance to make the final yeah unbelievable isn't it Kislev what a performance from Cole Knight absolutely really nice. really taking it to him and I mean again like you just look a little over to your right on the screen right now you'll know exactly what happened to the undead <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, he obviously did get a lot of luck in it, right? but I think, he, yep. I think he definitely played very well as well. So there you go. Sure did. Sure Congrats did. Congratulations, Corn Knight. Commiserations, as. And, folks, that is going to do it for this game. The Kislev dancing their way into the uh, loser's bracket semifinal. Do we need to start this, this, this <laughs> conversation again? Yeah. <laughs> we really need names for these rounds. <laughs> Indeed. Well, that'll do it. Send us home, Jim. Glorious. Thank you very much, Skuro. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.